Magic the Gathering again. Yes, indeed. We're going to try to rank up. And we're going to hope our luck is better than last time. This deck hurt me last time. I think I lost something like seven to eight games in a row. It was unbelievable. Well, you know what? This is better. I go first. I get a little bit of surveil. Um, do I want the forest? You know what? I don't. I don't want the forest. It's not terrible because we have the cottage. Okay. Kind of makes our decision for us. Okay, we've got some ramp. We've got disfigure. Uh, I think... I'm not sure. I feel like we could impending the Overlord. But that might not be the move to make here. It depends on what he plays. Ah. Uh, Interesting. Interesting, 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 interesting. I kind of think we go cottage. Do we go impending? I don't think we do. I think we end the turn here. If we could kill it, we would kill this. We would 100% kill it. If we could, but we can't. I actually don't mind that. We're gonna kill this Gremlin Tamer for sure. That's dead. Absolutely. No problem with that whatsoever. He's only got one mana. He could protect. It's entirely possible. Ah, uh, interesting. You know what? I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. We can get our impending out. Nope. No problem. Go nuts. Take it. My turn. We have to go wastes. We get our overlord out. That gives us some good ramp. We've got double smuggler surprise. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six mana. So any creature we draw, we can get out immediately. Which is pretty sick. Loses all abilities. Not ideal. Not ideal. I'll be honest, this aggro in Channer deck. Pretty good, man. Uh, yeah, obviously we block. No doubt about it. Okay. Okay. Now, can we get... The question is, can we actually get it out? I don't think... Okay, perfect. No counter spells. Fantastic. No counter spells. Do we want an Overlord? We can get that Overlord out, but I feel like we need Valkovoth to actually stabilize here. So I think, as bad as it is, I think we actually take that out. We can get Valkovoth... Oh, we're dead, actually. It doesn't matter. Ugh. Good game. Yeah. I'll be honest, we played that about correct. They just had the they just had the way faster start. And we didn't draw the drops we needed to get out. If we'd had Valkavoth or you know, if we'd had more creatures, I think we could have done better there. But again, this deck it goes in waves. It, I have, you know, runs where I'll be winning like five, six games in a row, and then I'll be losing five, six games in a row. It's very weird how the uh, algorithm matches me up. I think I do go first. We don't have the ramp we want, but you know what? Get the surveil, glimpse the core, perfect. That's a perfect draw. That's a fantastic perfect draw. I've got no problem with that. Excellent. We glimpse the core for sure. Absolutely.
absolutely. Does he counter this? If he does, you know what, he uses up a counter spell. I have no problem with it. I don't have any issues with that at all. We have exactly what we need. Perfect. I've got no problem with that at all. The Phantom Interference is pretty good. But yeah, this person is going to be drawing. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Do we plot? We don't plot. We keep up. We absolutely keep up. Go for the throat. We absolutely keep up. Go for the throat. Uh-huh. Perfect. No problems there. All right, pass. End the turn. Let's see what we've got. Again, go for the throat is fantastic to use up. He could, we could easily use up. Uh, interesting. So we top deck that maybe. Okay, so he's searching. He's searching. I don't think he's got the answer to Lanawar wastes. We take it. Uh, do we take it or do we try to kill something? You know what? I think we kill... We kill the flyer. Why not? It does seem like he's got... A counterspell or something. But I'm not sure. I'm gonna invasion. Does it go through? Yep, he countered the wrong ramp. That's why I didn't mind it. So now we've absolutely got our Vaultborn Tyrant could easily go out. It depends on if he taps. It does depend on if he fully taps. He's got the Reef. It's interesting here. Okay. He's got Smuggler's Surprise. Do we go for it? You know what? We do. Because we have... Yeah, we've absolutely got the stuff that we need. This would be a good counterspell, but it actually is okay if he counterspells it because we've got enough mana to get Vaultborn out next turn anyway. And this uses up a counterspell from him. Okay. Fantastic. I would be unsurprised if he scoops at this point. He's not going to have a bounce spell. The target's going to be... Fantastic. Yeah. There's nothing he can do about it this turn, which I'm not totally shocked with. He could have some spells to kill Valgavoth, but he's going to have to sacrifice so much stuff. He's not, as far as I can tell, I don't think he's playing any sweepers. That would actually be able to target Valgavoth. Like a Sunfall. See? That's his best removal spell, and it actually doesn't matter. Yeah, we get the go for the throat. Yeah. He could target this guy and kill it. But, I mean, it would be so difficult for him to do it, because he's going to have to sacrifice basically his entire board. Yeah, you're going to have to sacrifice so much, man. Three non-land permanents. Actually, I don't even think he can do it. Yeah, he can't even do it. Yup, that's the scoop, I was going to say. I actually forget the ward on that. I thought he could sacrifice lands to do it, but he can't. Very interesting. But yeah, Valgavoth always is pretty much an in, in instant win con. If you get him out, it's pretty much game over. Now, I say that. I've absolutely lost many, 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 many times with Valgavoth on the board. Yesterday, that was, that was actually the most fun was when I actually got my stuff out. And it didn't work. Okay, opponent goes first. We've got removal. We've got smaller surprise. We don't have any ramp. It's going to be pretty slow. We might be able to survive, though. I'm not sure. 
Okay, playing red without a one drop. That's big for us. That's huge. We've got the vault born. So if we make it to Smuggler's Surprise. If we make it to Smuggler's Surprise. That's pretty good. Do I want... I was going to say, do I want to get the cottage out? No. I want to... I want to keep... Go for the throat up. Because we might be getting something. Could be a mistake. He could be playing way slower. He had two tapped lands in a row. Urbrask's Forge. Yeah. That's about what we expected, to be honest. We take it. No need to waste anything. Virtue of Persistence. Very interesting. I think we cottage on this turn. Yeah. We do cottage on this turn. We can have double removal next turn. If he gets any permanents out, we can virtue them. That's pretty good. I'm okay with it. I mean, I'm not okay with it. I'd rather kill these guys, but two damage is not bad. Oh my god, another freaking tap land. This is disgusting. Okay, do we cottage here? I think we have to. Do we have to? Yeah. End turn. Again, if we can make it to, at this point, turn six, we can do it. The life gain is nice. The life gain is nice. We can virtue of persistence. Or, well, Lockwain sworn. Okay. be honest, I think we do take it. <laughs> Carrot cake, okay. Let's see what happens. He might, at this point, try to do my turn. Alright. I'm gonna go for the throw of this bunny. Okay. I shouldn't have done that. I should have virtue of persistence to Infuriating. I think it's... Uh, that's infuriating. We misplayed so bad. It's incredible. Okay, I do you. I have virtue. I get a little bit of life. I can't make a fish. I think we lost this. Yeah, I definitely should have go for the throated earlier. But I mean, this guy's got nothing. If he doesn't have a pump spell, I think we win on the next turn. He could easily have like a shock and a lightning bolt. Oh, uh, interesting. Okay. Okay. I feel like that's actually it. This might be actually about over. And let's think. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll let him see. We'll let him think he's got it. We'll let him think he's got it. He doesn't, but he'll think he does. Sure. He's got... Resolve. 
resolved. Pass to attackers. Blop. And we got some pretty good stuff here. Nice. Okie dokie. Now, I definitely block. How do we block this? I'll be honest, I think we block the Voltborn with the six. That gives us extra life gain. And then we block our Flyer with our Valkavoth. That's pretty good. I honestly don't know if we end up surviving this, but it's possible. Yeah, you gotta sacrifice a lot, buddy. Doesn't even matter. Oh, nice. Okay. We got some new life gain. Very nice. Excellent. Okay, and we can actually virtue of persistence on our next turn here. Okay, so let's think. Do we have anything here that I actually want to do? Nope. So let's do you. Surveil. See what we got. Some more surprise. Let's virtue of persistence. Screw it. We can't do it. Okay. We can't virtue of persistence. That's annoying, but whatever. That's fine. Next. Next. I attack my... You. Good. Bam. Fantastic. Good. Delightful. That gives us a good blocker. Gives us extra life gain. Crap. I screwed up. I screwed up. We actually had the uh, surveil that I wanted. Uh, mana value 2 or less. I actually don't know if that does anything. It's just the map tokens. That's what I thought. I thought that was just the map tokens. Resolve. Resolve. Let's disfigure you. Yep. There we go. Okay. He thought he was going to be able to race us while we were down, but he was not. And then obviously we had the virtual on the next turn, so that would have really totally completely stabilized us. We would have been able to get everything back. The Valgavoth would have been, you know... Completely destruction. But yeah, that was that was absolutely their game to lose. They had the speed. We had no ramp whatsoever. We misplayed pretty severely with their go for the throat. But Valkavoth pulled it out. Actually, really, I think it was the Voltborn. Okay, you know what? This is not bad. I keep on this. Oh, okay. Well, good game. Good game. We've got no removal. If we don't draw removal, we're dead. Oh, thank God. All right. Well, actually, no, we're dead anyway because we don't have... We have no untapped land. So that's it. Let's see. It's turn two. Over. Our disfigure doesn't hit if he uh, monstrous rages. Yep. Do we think this is an absolute 100% over and out? Not quite, but almost. Let's think. Do you sell sword? Yep, of course you do. Awesome. And, well, that was fun. Nope. Awesome red. Fantastic. I don't even think he mulliganed. He had what? One? Let's think here. He had one card. He had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He literally... Yeah, he literally did not have to mulligan. He had two ley lines in his opening hand. Didn't even mulligan. Yeah, 
sometimes you just get, I mean, that was, there, there was no way around that. We had no, if we'd had disfigure in our opening hand and we'd had an untapped land, so basically, you know, two things we didn't have, we could have survived, but that was it. That was the only shot. Okay, see, like this. Like this. We've got the disfigure open. All right. With that play, we definitely ramp. We definitely do the ramp. If we draw a land, we invasion. We didn't draw a land, so we have to glimpse the core again. Unfortunate, but it's okay. Ancient Cornucopia. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, we double swamp on that. We want symmetrical mana. Now we've got a lot. We've got a lot of options here. I vault born. I tire it, right? Yep, I do. No counter spells. He could kill it. It's a possible sunfall. I mean, there's there's options here for how this could go badly. But if he doesn't sunfall immediately, which he doesn't want to do, because he's only got one thing on the board, and it's got a tap land, so no sunfall this turn. No sunfall this turn. We keep up. Man, we've got a lot of options here. Let's see, we've got six, seven, eight. Let's see what we get. Yup. It's entirely possible that he does something like that. Interesting. Do we protect? Do we protect it? No. I actually wanted to go to the graveyard because we have virtue of persistence.
Okay. And we keep that. Yup. Yup, of course. Now, this kind of means no sun falls, right? Maybe he just does it for the... Possibly he just does it for the card draw and the life gain. That is a possible way to go here. I can go for the throat. I don't have another removal spell that hits. But actually, that's fine, because we can go for the throat and we get Virtue of Persistence. Yeah, and we can do it again this turn. Actually, yeah, 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 yeah. That's awesome, actually. So if he sunfalls, that's huge for us. Ancient Cornucopia. I don't have a problem with it. Let's see what happens here. Pass to attackers. My turn. I'm going to go for the throat you. Awesome. Can he protect? I don't think he can protect with the amount of stuff that he's got. Perfect. Okay, we're good. That's my... Yeah, baby. Sweetheart, that's my Vaultboard Tyrant. Oh, yeah. And there's the Valgavoth we wanted. Okie dokie. That's the Valgavoth we wanted. Now, do I put it out? Let me think, how much mana do I have? Nine, ten. Yup. Oh, sweet. Okay. Overlord and... Lanawar. Sure.
gonna go for the Vault Born, which I'm fine with. And I can play Vault Born with life. Cool. Resolve. Okay. 
next. And turn right. Yeah. This is a crazy game. This is this is an insane game. Does he have another Sunfall? I guess it's possible. I mean, he's drawn definitely some cards and stuff, but it seems so unlikely, right? Okay, we've got another freaking cottage here. I'm gonna sacrifice a token. Yeah. Let's see what we get, if anything. We have a second Valgavoth. Let's see. Smoker surprise. Interesting. Do we want it? I don't think we want it, but it's okay. Okay, I'll be honest, here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna attack. Yeah. We are gonna attack. Perhaps not the best move, but it's pretty decent. Because we've got... Yeah. We've got some good stuff here. Good game. Good game. I mean, actually, yeah, good game. This is a really ridiculous thing. Does he, like, I mean, there are absolutely things that he could do if he wants to get rid of this guy. Oh, nice. I think that's it, right? Yeah. Let's go black. We're gonna 
virtue, our mentor. And that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. We have another smuggler surprise, so if he tries to bounce the Vault Born, it does very little. Yeah, he could bounce the Vault Born, but it's not going to matter. We have the Valkavoth. And he doesn't have any... I mean, he might have a Sunfall, but I don't think they run these blue-white things. They don't run Valkavoth. Yeah, this is game over, baby. This is game, baby. You can bounce that. It doesn't even matter, bro. Bro, it does not even matter. I do not even care. Uh, I don't block. No. I do not block. Because guess what we're doing, sweetheart? You. And then you. Blah, blah. Blah. And you know, just in case. Just in case you were worried. Yeah, no big deal. And we're gonna go ahead and just kill you. Awesome. And I'm gonna go ahead and play it. That's pretty cool. And I'm gonna go ahead and do you. You're gonna block with one of your prowess. Go ahead, sweetie. Now it's possibly Pump's Haughty Gin. It's possibly Pump's Haughty Gin. Yeah. It's because I had Indestructible, sweetie. That was two of your prowess. He could pump Haughty Jin, but we have another freaking Valkavoth and another Smuggler Surprise. So, I block. Well, actually, you know what? I don't know. I might not block. He's going to have... I mean, there's, there's nothing he can do. He can Sunfall, gets rid of his entire board, which he doesn't have. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's over, sweetie. Oh, my God. I think this is, this seems like it might just perhaps be over. J -j 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 over, yeah. And you can't pump it because they go to your, <laughs> yeah, Valgavoth body. Anything you go, yeah, your, your graveyard is now not happening. You're toast. You can't bounce it. You have to sacrifice your entire board to bounce it. You don't have Sunfall. I don't see any exile effects. Exile effects is the only thing that's going to actually do anything for you. I mean, it's... Yeah, you can scoop it up right now, buddy. Scoop him up, sweetie. Scoop him up. Interesting. Yeah. Let's see. Look at the top two. Uh, put one of them into your hand, the other on the bottom of your graveyard. Sure, 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 sure. Cool. All right. Return target creature to its owner's hand. Let's see. Do I want to do this? Target creature. Sure, why not? Uh-huh. Let's go for you. Uh, virtue of Persistence. I'll disfigure you. And I will Restless Cottage. I was gonna say, yeah, you're you're pretty toasted here. The Valk, I definitely misplayed with my using their cards because I actually got it out of the exile effect and into their graveyard, which would have pumped it. That was a mistake, but I mean, it was just such a an overwhelming card. They would have had almost no possible way to do anything. That was pretty good. I'm pretty happy about that. Good luck in all your endeavors. Thank you for tuning in. I shall say goodbye for now.